Hi and welcome back to Golf FM. If you're a new viewer, thanks for tuning in. Is that what it is, tuning in? Anyway, whatever it is, if you could subscribe, that would be great. I suppose you want to, if you're new, you want to watch it and say, well, do I want to subscribe? Let's have a look at what's on offer here before I go and subscribe. But they keep telling us to say subscribe at the start, so please subscribe and like. And again, again, like. You know, how do you know you like what you're watching? So make your own mind up after you've seen it. How about that for an idea? Subscribe and like if you think it's worth it. Anyway, on with the test. Today's test is seeing if this Cobra Dark Speed Iron is as good as the QI from TaylorMade and the AI Smoke from Callaway. So the big boys. Cobra's up against the big boys. You've already got a price advantage if you're Cobra. 7295 to pitching wedge, 859 for QI, and 809 for AI smoke. That's sort of average internet price. Now it's debatable as to whether you'd even need five to pitching wedge. You might need that many irons, so it's worth taking that price into account. But the loft on these things is such that you might not even need a five iron. Let's first of all have a look at the looks, if you know what I mean. So in terms of the backs of these irons, the bit that you see on the shelf, the bit that's hanging out your bag, the bit you want to be proud of when people are walking past you thinking, oh, look at that, new set of irons, what are they? So this is your sort of front of house showy offy bit. And the Cobra has a nice dark finish, as is the name. It's kind of dark gray, it's not black. There's been quite a lot of black irons over the years. And this one's just got this sort of dark gray finish. I like it. I think it looks quite stealthy, quite, low key it's nice and then the important thing about it is it's got this sort of cap back design that Taylor made have had recently on the stealth and now the QI where it's a hollow bodied iron with a lot of forgiveness and you can't see any of it it almost looks like a player's distance iron not far off it not quite maybe it still has that sort of game improvement feel all of these irons inside have quite a lot of technology going for them there's foam inside to help with feel there's various layers to help with forgiveness they're all hollow the Callaway has tungsten neither the Cobra or the QI have any tungsten in them tungsten is a very heavy material which helps with weighting so they've done it in different ways so there's a lot going for it all of these irons so if we look at the QI now that is a bigger head than the Cobra and at the back has this sort of black design I've done videos on this before and I, I almost don't know if it's a, an improvement on the stealth it's a nice looking club but I just thought it looked slightly more game improvement than the stealth did the stealth almost looked like it was crossing borders and could almost be mistaken for a better players club like a players distance iron as you call them nevertheless it's a handsome brute this and brute's probably the word because it is a big line it's quite a big club head it looks forgiving but it's the biggest of the club heads talk about top lines in a minute and then finally the AI smoke again a little bit more like the Cobra kind of bridging the divide between game improvement club and also players distance iron so slightly better players iron so I think I would generally see that look this sort of crossover look as a positive thing because it means that it can fit into the bag of lots of players so some people have been using maybe blades and small irons all their lives and they're maybe not hitting it so far now and they need a bit of help for whatever reason but they don't necessarily want to go into a big chunky game improvement looking iron and this sort of iron this sort of look this kind of half and half look is good for them so it's an easy thing to sell to people as well you know when we're doing fittings you can quite often give this to somebody who potentially would not even consider trying a proper full-on game improvement iron but you give them this like the Callaway AI smoke and the uh, Cobra and they wouldn't feel too bad about trying it and then they'd obviously be pretty impressed with the results I would imagine so they all look good and in terms of the soles the tailor-made is the widest and the Cobra and the Callaway are pretty similar they're a bit narrower there's still a bit of width to the sole the reason this it's a good thing for the sole to be wide would be that doesn't dig into the turf as easily it's a bit more forgiving on fat strikes the wider the sole is so if that's something that you do wrong then maybe QI might be something you'd want to look at first in terms of the top lines when you put them all together and the size of the head the QI stands out as being bigger there's no question it, it really does it almost starts to look like well is it a different category of iron here because it's that much bigger the top line is definitely thicker and you're definitely got a game improvement look to the QI from the top the others still game improvement still confidence inspiring but smaller club heads and just a slightly thinner top line 
the blade on the Cobra looks maybe fractionally longer than the Callaway. The Callaway looks the smallest head out of all of them. But they all have a nice look. And as I say, I just think the QI looks a little bit more game improvement, a little bit more forgiving looking and bigger. Right, so I'm going to do this test slightly differently from what I normally do, because I find that when I'm doing three irons like this and just hitting them and testing them at the time, it goes on forever and ever and ever, and it's like it's never going to end. And I don't want that for you, and I don't want that for me. So what I've done is I hit these in my own time. I did 10 of each and I was fair with the batch. Didn't take all of the good ones. I had some sort of iffy strikes in there. They were all reasonable strikes. I didn't have any duffs and didn't have any extreme ones where the spin dropped to like 2,000 revs or went away up to seven or 8,000 revs, which you just don't get on these irons. So they're all pretty even is what I'm trying to say and believable stats, okay? So the QI iron and the AI smoke are both 28 degrees and the dark speed is 27 degrees so they are all really strong i mean the dark speed at 27 apparently just come up half a degree from last year's cobra which was 26 and a half and they obviously just thought well that's ridiculous we can't keep doing this we can't keep going down the way let's get back up the way we're miles off everyone else they've gone 27. In theory, the dart speed should go further because of the loft advantage. If you look at the results there, they're all pretty similar. So you've got 120 ball speed, 121 ball speed, and 120 ball speed for the dark speed. So all very similar. 16 degree launch on the QI, 16.9 and 15.8 on the dark speed. So maybe the dark speed is showing that it's slightly less loft because it's the lowest launch angle and it's the lowest spin rate at 4.7 and the AI smokes 4.8 and the QI's 4.8 as well. So they're, but again, that's pretty close. And I mean, it's not, you know, I'm not a robot, so that could have been strike related to a certain degree. Carry, 176 QI, 179 Callaway, and 178 on the dark speed. Total distance, I should know you think it's a lot of rubbish, but it works out here in Scotland where the ball doesn't settle down very quickly. 190, 193, and 193 for the dark speed. So very similar again. Descent angle, 41, 43 and 41. So they're quite low, but bear in mind, this is going, getting on the thick end of 200 yards. I mean, it's carrying 180, you know, which used to be a five iron and that sort of landing angle for that sort of distance isn't actually as bad as it looks there. Yes, on paper, a seven iron, you would want to be landing a bit steeper than that, but they're just going so far. You almost can't count them as seven irons. It's like you'll be hitting a club less usually if you're coming from an older design club to this. So it swings in roundabouts, really. Dispersion, it's a difficult one because, again, I feel I'm at fault for a lot of the shots that go offline. They were slightly pushing it, slightly hooking it a little bit. Is I feel like they're more me than they are the club. But this is the third test I've done with certainly the QI and the AI spoke. And I'm starting to think a bit more and more that the QI is a bit more forgiving. Now, I suppose it should be. It's a little bit bigger, but they've put a lot of technology into it. You know, they've tried to do flighted technology throughout the iron. So they're trying to get the in the head and they're trying to get the heads to help get the ball up, keep it down in the lower irons and the pitching wedges and that sort of thing. And they've also supposedly, which I've yet to really test, had a bit of a breakthrough in the longer irons, which apparently for years and years have all been designed throughout all manufacturers to go to the right in terms of their face design. So they've now put weighting in there that actually rectifies that. So I'll be interested to see when I get a full set if that actually does help a little bit. But yeah, I'm just starting to feel like the QIs maybe are a bit more forgiving overall. What I want to do now and will help decide, you know, what I recommend is feel. So I'm gonna hit some shots and see what I think the feel difference is between them because they're quite similar in terms of how far they go and they're quite similar in terms of forgiveness, although you've just heard that maybe the QI is possibly on the slightly more forgiving side than the others, but feels important. So you've got price, which are different. The Cobra is without question the cheapest and feel now would be as important if you combine price, looks and feel as to which one's the best one to go for, because we're trying to say that the performance is actually pretty similar and you don't need to worry about it. They're all very forgiving and they all go miles. So let's have a look and see if we can determine what the best feel is. So no particular order. I'm gonna hit the Cobra first. I'm using a tailor-made 
made and I did use a tailor-made tour response in the test as well. I wanted to use a ball that was maybe a bit more representative of the balls that people would be using that maybe use these clubs because not everybody would use automatically a TP5 or a Pro V1 or something like that which usually are a bit lower spinning anyway. We'll go with Cobra Dark Speed first and just see, hit a couple and then move on, see if I can determine what feel is the best. So I've got that a little bit clean and it still felt all right. It didn't feel really clattery and sharp and angry. It kind of felt okay considering I didn't catch it right out the middle. It's pretty solid. It, I mean, I'm not flushing these and they're feeling okay. You know, considering I haven't hit it that well. It's still going well as well. 189 to total distance. Sorry. Sorry. 176 carry. That was a nice strike and that felt really nice. I mean, it doesn't feel as soft as a forged face iron or a fully forged club. It doesn't. None of these do. So I'll take that one with me and try and remember. Now we'll move on to AI Smoke. So Paradigm last year, Paradigm Iron did have a forged face and that meant it was really expensive. The AI Smoke's gone back to a standard steel head and they've put foam like a lot of the other ones as well in there to try and improve the feel. That was a nice strike. Hard, hard to say. Almost something in me thinks that felt a little bit better than the Cobra did. Tiny, tiny bit, I think. I'll hit another one. Yeah, that felt quite nice again. Maybe a little bit pushed out to the right, but they're good strikes. Felt nice. One more. Less good strike, but still didn't feel bad. I mean, if you were to buy either of these two now, you wouldn't be disappointed with how they felt. You wouldn't get them home and think, oh God, I wish I hadn't bought these. It's a horrible sound. It's loud. It's noisy. It's not like that. It's a nice, absolutely acceptable sound and feel of these. There's nothing wrong with it. So let's go with QI. Do notice it being bigger, I have to say. That was thin. And, you know, thinking back to the Cobra and the feel of that clean shot, that possibly felt a little bit softer, tiny bit softer. I'm going to hit the Cobra after this just to remind myself. That was a decent strike. And I don't know if that felt quite as soft. Let's try and really flush, see if I just did, maybe didn't quite flush it. That was a decent strike. And that felt good. That did feel good. I mean, it does always feel quite good when you're at a golf ball out the middle, but there was a good feel. It's a nice soft feel. Let's try the Cobra Dart Speed. See, this is, this is why you thank me for doing the technical aspects at the start, because look, you could see how this could just be never ending in itself, trying to determine the feel, because it's so subjective. Let's have another go. Cobra Dart Speed. Oh, that was a nice strike. Might go left, but well, not that far left. See, that felt really nice. There was nothing in it there when you take that against either of the other two. Right, AI smoke. Oh, another nice strike. Do you know what? I think almost if I was blindfolded, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the difference. Let's go to QI. Didn't hit it as well, that's a shame. Ruined the test there by not hitting that very well. Try another one. The first two, the flushed ones, Cobra and AI smoke felt really good and almost identical. Not as good a strike. It feels good though. It still feels pretty good. So one more go with the QI. See if we can really get one out the middle. Yeah, that was a decent one, I think. Today, I'm almost feeling like AI smoke and Cobra are almost slightly softer feeling. Let's have one more go with this QI because I'm not sure, I want to be sure about that before I commit to this decision. Yeah, it is very forgiving though, I have to say. I do notice, you know, with the QI that I look up and I think, oh, maybe didn't quite hit that and it's still gone a long way and it didn't go very far off lines. So anytime you're thinking that, usually the club's pretty friendly. So let's try and really flush one QI again. So that was good, you won't be aware of it, but I've just been trying to get the feel of this QI for so long that the battery ran out. Let's try and get one out of the middle. That was out of the middle. And yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced that's actually feeling as soft as either of these two when you really absolutely nail it. I don't know. Sorry if you're disappointed to hear that. Let's have another go dark speed. 
Yeah, that felt good. Felt good. That was hit out the middle. And let's try QI, sorry, not QI, AI smoke Callaway. Didn't quite get it. They're obviously a little bit louder and a bit harsher when you don't get them out the middle, but I just can't help feeling that possibly the TaylorMade didn't feel quite as soft. Let's have one last go. Yeah, I mean, that felt pretty soft again. Oh, it's so small a margin. It really is so small a margin. Okay, so I'd love to be a bit more decisive with this. But do you know what? Manufacturers these days are making such good stuff. I mean, they all test each other's products. They're not going to put anything out in the market that they don't think is at least as good as the competitors, if not better in their eyes. So all the stuff is good. So with these irons especially, if you're being logical about it, you would have to recommend the Cobra Dark Speed because it's 729, it's 130 pound less a set than the Taylor Made. Not quite as much difference between that and the Callaway, but still, there's a bit of a price gap. And if it's going the same distance and if it feels just as good and if it looks just as good in your eyes, then Cobras I want to go for. But that's not always going to be the case. You might like the look of the AI smoke. You might prefer the bigger headed look of the QI because it gives you a feeling of more forgiveness. You might hit this better. The shaft and head combination that you go for might be the best for you. So I, what I suppose I'm saying is that you will not be disappointed no matter what one you go for. And thankfully they're not all hideously expensive. I know that's a lot of money still, but at least it's not your plus a thousand pound bracket, which for instance, the Callaway Paradigm were last year because they had a forged face. So taking into account these don't have forged faces, the feel of them is really good. Really, really good. They do not feel hard, any of them. And when you hit them properly, they really feel good out the middle, solid and really pretty soft it's not bad at all so that would be my recommendation logic would dictate that you would go for the cobra but the others are brilliant as well so i hope that helps with your decision making if you've got any questions put them in the comments and as i said at the start if you could subscribe that'd be great and any likes that you could do that would be much appreciated and i'll see you in the next one